On our quest for a drive technology that's both environmental and economical, we tried out the Leon ST 1.4 TGI by SEAT. It has a bivalent or bi-fuel engine, meaning it runs on both natural and normal gas. The tanks are under the car and inside the trunk floor. One holds some 15 kilos of natural gas, the other takes 50 litres of gasoline for a combined range of 1,300 kilometres. Under the hood is the 1.4 litre engine, which, after some technical adjustments, runs on both fuel types. The TGI delivers 81 kilowatts of power. SEAT rates fuel consumption at 3.5 kilos per 100 kilometres, emitting less than 100 grams of CO2 per kilometre. These numbers sound easy on the environment and the wallet. At the current price of €1.04 Euro four cents per kilo of natural gas, that adds up to just under €3.70 Euro per 100 kilometres. Car reviewer Mattis concedes that, with this engine, the Leon ST is no rocket. 81 kilowatts are enough to keep up with traffic and even manage an occasional sprint. As long as there's natural gas in the tank, the bivalent Leon's engine will use it, instead of the gasoline. And Mathis assures potential drivers that they needn't worry about complicated switchovers once the natural gas is used up. The car automatically changes to gasoline power. But you want to get to a natural gas fueling station as soon as possible since driving on normal fuel costs more money. When the tank's empty, we head to a CNG or compressed natural gas station. Just how economical is the Leon in practice? And is it really as green as the manufacturer's figures indicate? At just over a euro per kilogram, the advantage over fossil fuels is obvious, but do drivers really save that much on the road? Filling the tank with natural gas is almost the same process as with normal fuel. Down below are two receptacles, one for premium gasoline and one for natural gas. You just take the natural gas nozzle, connect it. Press the button and wait until the tank is filled. In Germany, it costs about 16.5 euros to fill the tank with natural gas. When the nozzle is disconnected, there's a little hiss, and then you're done. Und das war's auch schon. Then there's a little surprise. Wenn man wieder Erdgas getankt hat, Once the natural gas tank is full, this little green indicator in the tachometer shows the car has switched back. It displays a range of 260 kilometers on natural gas. But that's considerably less than what SEAT promises, which was a range of some 400 kilometers on natural gas for a total range of 1,300 kilometers together with gasoline power. This is where the theory diverges from the practice. It's slightly disappointing. Martis has no serious complaints about the SEAT Leon ST. The suspension is well balanced, the engine is free revving without guzzling gas and the workmanship is high quality. But who are the buyers for this car? There aren't that many natural gas stations in Europe. You'd need one on your way to work, for example. And for longer trips, the driver has to plan the route in advance so it passes close to a natural gas station. In our test, the alternative fuel costs nearly €6.40 per 100 kilometres. But the small tank means frequent refuelling stops. And the additional €1,800 Euro cost over the gasoline-powered Leon has to be covered before it starts saving anything.